Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Future Plus. I'm your host, Asad Mahmood. Today, our topic of discussion is women in business. A business can be defined as an organization that provides goods and services to meet a specific need. When many people think of business, they normally assume, associate with large corporations. However, our topic of discussion today would be SMEs, small to medium-sized businesses, how they were set up, the problems that particularly the Muslim women faced in setting this up. I would now like to introduce you to my guest for today. Now I have Sister Kosa Sakrani, um, a businesswoman and a CEO of Modestly Active, which is a Muslim swimwear company, and she's been in the business for four years. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. My first question, what interested you to pursue a career in business? What was your... Actually, what it was is when I actually did start practicing quite, you know, covering and everything, um, going on holidays, you know, as my children were growing up, my girls especially, I didn't want them to compromise with their faith. And this is why I said that, you know, I still want them to participate in everything that they enjoy, which is swimming the most thing. And this is why I said, that's it, I'm going to come, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to design something which they don't need to compromise, I'll have something for them. And this is what inspired me to do it. Mashallah, yeah. mashallah, very good. Um, in terms of starting up a business, mm -hmm. did you face many difficulties? I mean, what were they? I mean, yes, um, you do face difficulties as, as you're planning because you've got to think of everything. The most thing that every Muslim woman would think nowadays is financial. Yeah. Um, with myself, I had lot, you know, I put a lot of money away, thinking, you know, one day I always wanted to do business. I didn't want to have this nine-to-five job or do anything. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, people say that the parent is the role model of their children, mm -hmm. and I wanted to be that role model for my girls as well. Okay. So the the problems that I had was how I'm going to go about it, how I'm going to have this product designed, you know, um, how I'm going to work along with the government, because obviously health and safety and all those issues come in, in place. How did you actually think of this product? I mean, you just explained, you know, you, you like swimming. I mean, was it an idea which was, that came about after years of thinking, or was it just... Actually, I mean... Uh, was there a gap in the market? There was already, but, um, I mean, it was to do with more here. Now... When we used to go swimming, and I'm sure all the Muslim women do that, you know, they wear their leggings, mm -hmm. we wear yes. our shorts. We try to put anything and everything on that we think that will cover us. Mm -hmm. We even put the... And sometimes sitting back and looking when, you know, you're not in the pool and you're actually looking at other women, and I'm not saying that, you know, we look funny, but we do. We do look silly. And I thought to myself, I want to design something which is going to look very nice. I'm going to be proud to wear it myself. I thought of myself and my girls first, mm -hmm. that when I wear it, I don't want to look silly. I want to look elegant. I want to be nice. Because at the end of the day, when I am going to be going in the pool, I'm not just going to be going with Muslim women. It's going to be non-Muslim women, you know, people that don't practice. And I want to be a part, but at the same time, look really elegant. Masha. And that is mm -hmm. what made me think, mm -hmm. That's what I want to design. And I sat there and I looked at everything, what everybody was wearing, and I got a good designer on board. And that's how we did it. Excellent. Sister Burgess, what was your interesting question that I would like to ask you? Being mm -hmm. a woman in business as hard as it is, it being is. a Muslim woman in terms of running the house as a housewife, mm -hmm. in terms of the duties of a husband, mm -hmm. um, the brother, and a mother as well, mm -hmm. how does one balance all these different needs and still be a successful man? Same, same thing for myself as well. I, I, what I did is I made sure that my children came first in my life. That's how I did it. Yes, I've got a husband that is very, very supportive. I'm not, you know, he's going to get big-headed once he's heard <laughs> this. But he's very supportive to me. And again, like you said, sister, passion. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, just because we are Muslims, it doesn't mean we stop. We are very, very creative women. Mm -hmm. You know, just like any other women, we are the same as well. And if you balance your life out, you can do anything. Yeah, you can do anything. So one of the things I've picked up is the family support. Yes. You Definitely. need to have family support. Yes. So yes. In, is, there, is this a, like a cultural thing that sometimes there's um, some... In, in some cultures, you know, a husband would like their wife to stay um, <laughs> inside. They, you know, they have difficulty um, mm -hmm. in accepting women running the business. I mean, uh, did you find this? To be honest, I was very lucky, no. We, when we sat down and I said to my husband, this is what I want to do, 
Alhamdulillah, yes, he was there. He was very supportive and everything. And he said, how do you want to go about it? How much money do you... Obviously, every man's going to... Plus, you've got the in-laws, you know, you've got to answer to everybody. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, you know, if you have support and you know you want to do it, pursue it. Don't mm -hmm. sit there and say, shall I? Is it yeah. going to be the right thing? Is my in-laws going to take it bad? Sit down, talk as a family, you mm -hmm. know. Alhamdulillah, you know, nothing can stop us. You know, we are in the 21st century and we can do anything we want. MashaAllah. What about risk? I mean, I'm sure there are some risk, <laughs> risk factors involved. The biggest one, financial. What if the company isn't successful? It doesn't like matter. You, you start all over again. That's Any what role models play a part in you looking to start up a business? What about um, Sister Corsa? Well, uh, you might think, well, this is... But for me, it has to be, for where, my, where I was sitting, I had to say that um, it had to be the prophet's wife, you know, and everybody uses that. Well, but, uh, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. definitely, because it, it showed me that we can do everything. And in her time, going back this many years ago, being a Muslim woman, being able to do it, being a widow, you know, mm -hmm. and she still did it, why can't we? Yeah. You know, that, that was a message at that time which is for us now to say, look, you can do it. As long as you know what you want to do and you're willing to work hard, yes. And like you said, you know, is there any risks? And what risks don't we take every day in life? Yeah. We take so many. Yeah. And alhamdulillah, you know, we just have to get on with it. You know? you know, it's often said this is a man's world. You know, a business is a man's <laughs> world. It's, this is, you know... Stereotypical views. And who made a man? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I can say to That's that. That's a very good. That's <laughs> a very good answer to that. But realistically, though, do you face any problems in terms All the of time. gender yes. issues specifically? It's do you break these barriers down? What is it that, for our viewers, especially young, how do you cope with this? You know, a Mus Muslim business for men. You've got your family. You've got your in-laws. You've got your business. You're going going out. You just said you're going. You went to Dubai to me. <laughs> All this stress builds up. How does one cope with this? I think we're used to multitasking. I think we're, we're <laughs> we are. We yeah. are women. We, are the we can do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, shall, okay. I think yeah. for me, it's good. If I do need to go on to regular um, business trips or anything, mm -hmm. um, we go away together as husband and wife, so that gives us time, you, mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, away from the children. Not saying that I want to get away yeah. from the children, yeah. but it gives us that time. Mm -hmm. Um, and yes, we go together and we do it together. So I, at no time am I travelling alone. Mm -hmm. He's always with me. But then again, there might be women that are out there that are single um, who might have to travel, you know. But like I said, if you've got the support, you can do everything. You know, listening to you guys, it's, it's really encouraging. And mm -hmm. it, the picture I've, I've come across is, is quite rosy. It's, what are the difficult, what are the hardships that you fall, faced, for example, uh, you take out alone? Uh, Okay. And With me, we had that little bit of saving. Um, I had to remortgage my house as well because obviously I had to finance everything that I was doing. So yes, it was a bit of a struggle in the beginning, and we're still getting there. You know, we're still trying to. You know, one of the major struggles, apart from financial, is actually marketing the business, making sure you target your audience mm -hmm. in a good way. Mm -hmm. Did you have a right time for the right product? I mean, is there a right time? Did yes. You to be different. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to be yeah. different. If you're doing what everybody else is doing, mm -hmm. it's like for me actually finding the name for my company because I can't just call it a Muslim swimwear. Mm -hmm. It was that name, trying to bring that name was the biggest headache for me. And then I thought mm -hmm. modest, then I thought active, and I thought, how do I put them together? Yeah. And that's how I put modestly active together. And I think that was the biggest thing for me to you know, put together in, in my business, then everything else slowly, slowly fell in place. So modestly active was the USP. That's right, you just touched upon USP. What mm. is actually a USP in simple terms, just for the education of our viewers? It could be anything. The unique selling point is basically the, so for example, in Virgin Atlantic, it would be the experience that mm -hmm. counts. Mm -hmm. thing, I, I used a new Muslim designers, you know, that were, who have actually won awards, you know, and I actually sat with them and that's the same thing. I gave them that chance mm -hmm. and, you know, worked with them for, what, nearly mm -hmm. two years. Once we managed to actually m come to main manufacturing, I worked with them mm. extensively. Well, you, you're in the clothing industry. Um, in terms of marketing, did you face difficulties, especially selling this unique product? Mm. Um, and how did you cope with those difficulties? What were those difficulties to begin with? Anyway? Uh, with marketing, obviously, finan mm. financial part is a big, big part in that. And if 
you haven't got the financial part to support that, then yes, it can be quite difficult. Did you have a network, a network of Muslim business women? Was there, is, um, is there one? To be honest, there isn't. There is a I have no. never, and I think there that would one. be okay. so much mm -hmm. better for people that are not experienced enough or who haven't got the up and go, I think if there was a group where they could actually ask questions, maybe get that little bit of a support, you know, I think Well, they just give them a business idea right here. Why don't you guys start one, eh? Why not? <laughs> Why not? You know. Actually, women have more of a precious than perhaps no, 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 Western... Really. I don't know. I, I think I would, I mean, not being thinking, but I, mm. I would like to have to label myself as a Muslim group to say yes we are here for you sisters to help yeah. you that if you want help we are here to help you because we are all sisters and we can help you not saying you know not disagreeing with what sister here is saying but yes I would like to label myself sister power say, basically yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I you know what you it is from. I'll be honest with you you know what it is when you are a Muslim and a practicing Muslim yes when you are trying to get help which I did face, mm -hmm. you know, being a Muslim person, covering and trying to get that help. Sometimes I wasn't getting it, you know. From where? From mm -hmm. women? From, uh, from... Because it's often said... Financially, mm -hmm. um, but is it finding the right channel. But hijab? Yes. Really? And, and I have, and I have used a part where I have been on the phone and not said, you know, who I am, but trying to get the advice that I wanted, and I'll be 100% honest with you, I got the answer which I wanted using a different label and a different name. So and there is I know this is That's I very know sad. It is. Yeah. And I, yeah. yes, you know, alhamdulillah, you might have been lucky to, you know, pursue what you were doing. In, but me working, and I remember I had to work with the government. I had to make sure that every single part of my swimwear was health and safety approved. Oh, yeah. Because if sure. it's not, yeah, it's not I'm not going to get yeah. anywhere. I might have the best product in the market, looking absolutely fabulous, everybody wants to wear it, but if there is no health and safety issue there, like mm -hmm. if I haven't worked with them, I can't use them in the leisure centres. Sure. And I would be thrown out before mm. I know it. Mm. So yes, I did face problems like that. But eventually, when I was established and people knew who I was, yeah. I'm Kosar and I'm Muslim woman. Mm -hmm. This very, is me. That's very mm. encouraging to listen to that. I mean, yeah. we're just going to be going to a short break. But essentially, business is about taking risks. You know, yes. making sure you go ahead. Yes. And most of all, do it for the Akhra. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's it. has to be halal learning, whatever you do. That's very it. valid point, do. very yeah, valid that's point. That's true. Viewers, we're just going to be going to a short break, but inshallah, join us after the break when we'll be continuing with this informative discussion. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.